Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing some DIY dollar store projects with items that I found in the Dollar Tree. I was recently over in the USA and I picked up a ton of items in the Dollar Tree because I actually really like the ones over there. I think they're a lot better than the ones that we have here in the UK and I know a lot of you guys are from the States. So I wanted to try and do something a little bit different today. However, don't worry if you can't access a Dollar Tree, I made sure that most of these items were really simple things that you could probably find in other stores for a very cheap price. And if you would like to see a UK edition of this kind of video, do let me know in the comments down below. Oh, and also there might be two of these videos because I got enough craft supplies to make two videos. So do keep a lookout for the next one and without further ado, let's jump right in. So for all of these DIYs, I kind of had dorm rooms and student accommodation in mind because I know it's that time of year. So for this first one, it's a miniature lamp that you can actually interchange the base and the lampshade. So let's jump into it. You'll need some of these plastic glasses. I got a few different varieties. Do make sure they're plastic and not glass. And also some plastic bowls. These are from the party wear section. I'm using frosted glass spray paint. You can use any kind of spray paint you like in any color. I just thought this was a bit different. So I went ahead and coated my two different varieties of plastic glass in the spray paint. Once that was dried, I then went ahead and painted the bowls. I did paint them white in this footage, but I ended up covering them with purple and gold just to give a bit of variety to make them stand out. This is how the base turned out with the frosted glass effect spray paint. You can kind of see through it, but I think it has a really interesting effect. And here is the lampshade itself, and I did go ahead and repaint that. I then took some of these LED push lights, these take batteries, they're very easy to use, and then just peeled the sticker off the back and stuck that to the inside of the lampshade. And as you can see, you can still twist them off to access the battery compartment. And you don't need glue to adhere these together, you just need to balance the shade on top of the lamp. That's why I decided to use the plastic glasses because they're not breakable and they won't smash into a million pieces. This is how it turned out. It's super easy to turn off and on, it's safe and you can make it in a variety of different colours and patterns for a very cheap price. Next up, we have these adorable little animal magnets, which are a Pinterest classic. I've wanted to try them for ages, but I've never found the animals to do them. So when I saw them in the Dollar Tree, I knew I had to give this a try. So I took these adorable little plastic animals and cut their heads off. <laughs> this was very easy to do. I just used a knife. I did this pretty much off camera because it took a little while. Please be careful if you do this. And then once that was done, I filled them in with hot glue to give them a flat back. Once the glue had dried, I went ahead and took these fridge magnets and peeled the magnets off the back. These were kind of flimsy, I would recommend just buying cheap magnets in the craft store, but you know, they did kind of work. And then I spray painted the animals in gold and purple to match the rest of the decor. So take your animal and use a little bit of hot glue, pump that on the back and add your magnet. The great thing about these magnets is that you can cut them to size, but like I said, they're just not super strong, so I would recommend using something else. To make the magnet board, I actually took a pizza pan and just coated it in a coat of white spray paint. This is very simple and it really does work. You can add any kind of magnets to it and put your notes and any kind of pictures you'd like to display on it. When I found the clear acrylic storage section of the Dollar Tree, I kind of freaked out a little bit and I just knew I had to show you guys how to make something out of these pieces. So I made these little drawers for storage. They're very simple, so let me show you how I did it. I took three of these storage containers. They're obviously only a dollar. I think they're great value. And then I also took some beads, also from the Dollar Tree. And I went ahead and painted the front of the doors bright gold with some spray paint and then painted the actual drawer itself white. Tried to get some footage of this but the mosquitoes were eating me alive so I actually didn't manage to get any but this is what it looks like. I used E6000 glue to glue the drawers together 
and you can use hot glue for this but I just thought it would be kind of lumpy and it wouldn't sit very close and very tight together so I did use the E6000 and it dried within about five minutes. Once it was dry I was able to flip it over and add the little feet. So for that I took the beads and I painted them gold, it was very simple to do and then I just added those with hot glue. I chose hot glue for this because I knew it dried very quickly. And then once it was dry I put the drawers back in and it was ready to go. This only cost four dollars and some glue and spray paint and I think it's a really cute little storage drawer and organiser and it would work great in a dorm room for things like hair clips or stationery supplies. And lastly, if you've ever watched any videos on my channel before, you will probably know I cannot see a placemat without turning it into some kind of wall decor. So I made this banner wall decor out of a simple placemat. It looks just like this. It's black with some white stripes on it and obviously it was only $1. I went ahead and cut all the labels and tags off and then took a small piece of wooden dowel and secured that at the top. This will be where you'll tie a piece of string to either end so you can add this to your wall. So to secure it I just used some hot glue, glued it down onto the placemat and then glued the edge of the fabric onto the dowel. Then at the bottom of the placemat I decided to make a triangular point at the end of the banner. So to do this I just folded it over into the centre and used hot glue to secure it down. Make sure that you're folding it so this will end up being the back and then you can flip it over and decorate the front. To decorate the front I used some pom-poms also from the Dollar Tree and I added the black ones one on each of the white lines and then also in between the white lines this is really great to help space them out and really you can do this with any kind of placemat from any store and any color of pom-poms i just wanted to go for the monochrome look so this is how it turned out and it was very cheap to make just over two dollars including the dowel so that is everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Do let me know if you'd like to see the British version of this so that I have everyone covered. And I hope you guys have a great week. I will see you in my next one. Bye.